Aeon Co Malaysia Berhad is expecting the next 18 months to be challenging due to weak consumer sentiment. But it is confident that its retail malls will still chart growth. Executive Director Po Ying Lu says that the retailer is seeing some encouraging signs post GST and there will definitely be growth for the company. So despite challenging times ahead, it has no plans to lay off workers or close any of its malls. In fact, Aeon will be opening another shopping mall in 2017 after opening three this year. Fish ratings say that granting money lending licenses to property developers could add to risk linked to rising household debts. Fitch says that the scheme is likely to encourage unregulated lending to households with weak financial profiles and could undermine the strength of the financial system. This is after the Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government Minister Tan Sri Noor Omar says property developers can now offer home loans. Fitch warns that the leverage ratios are high among lower-income households. It believes that it is these households with weaker financial profiles and poor access to bank loans that are likely to be targeted by developers. Public transportation services provider Para Transit Berhad is seeking to raise 36.75 million ringgit through its IPO. Its listing on the ACE market of Busa Malaysia involves the issuance of 245 million shares, of which 58 million will be offered to the public, while 187 million will be placed to selected investors. Slightly more than half of the proceeds will be used to finance the construction of Terminal Kampar, which costs about 128 million ringgit. Work is expected to start in the second half of this year. It is targeted for completion in 18 months. Another 28.5% of the proceeds will be for working capital, 11% for listing expenses, and the rest will go to repaying higher purchase facilities. Tower Packs and Jam Berhad's planned acquisition of a 59% stake in Aluminium Co. of Malaysia Berhad became unconditional today. Therefore, Tower Pack is obliged to acquire the remaining Alcom shares it did not own. Alcom says that he has received a takeover offer notice from Tower Pack at 61 cents a share. In August this year, Tower Pack and Noelis Inc. signed a conditional share sale and purchase agreement, with Tower Pack buying some 78 million Alcom shares from Novelis. Tower Pack is planning to maintain Alcom's listing on Busan, Malaysia. Malaysia Packaging Industry Berhad has received a takeover offer of 65 cents a share from Japan's Taisei Lamik Company Limited. This is after Taisei Lamik's planned acquisition of a 55% stake in Maypac became unconditional. In July, Taisei Lamik inked a sale and purchase agreement to buy 23.1 million shares in Maypac. Taisei Lamik is obliged to extend a mandatory takeover offer to acquire all the remaining shares in Maypac it did not own. The Japanese firm does not intend to maintain Maypac's listing on Busa, Malaysia.